Welcome everyone to the rainbow mod. And no, I didn't just break the portal and just walk away guilty. So as you saw, the portal blocks were multicolored. So here's how to make it. You'll need a red rose dye, a dandelion yellow, and an orange. So besides the block being added, there's also armor and weapons which have been added with the ore and the ingot. So far, there has been a green ruby and a pink ruby which have been added. And just to clarify, you can only find these ores in the rainbow portal. There is an error with the green ore where once you smell it, the ingot is called pink ruby ingot. The recipes for the armors and the weapons are still the same. You just replace it with the green or the pink ore. Ingot, I mean. So to activate the portal, you'll need this, a rainbow fuse. It's fairly inexpensive, costing only one diamond, two flints, one stick and one lapis lazuli. Once the portal is lit, it will have this polka dot appearance, which I do like. Just before we go into the portal, I'm going to show you the ores. The pink ruby ore and the green ruby ore. So I've entered the portal and the first thing you'll notice is the rainbow trees and how tall they are. On top of that, everything looks pink slash purple. So I have a little gander and well, it's not too hard to find the ores. I thought maybe they might be underground slightly, but actually they're on top of a hill. This is an unfinished mo mod, so don't hold it against the developer. So along with this mod, there is actually a mob as well, the werewolf. And this werewolf shouldn't be taken lightly. So I'm using the armor and the weapons that came with the mod and using it against the werewolf. As you'll see, it's pretty durable and pretty strong. So then I compared it to another armor, the iron armor and the iron sword against a single werewolf. If you've liked this video, why don't you leave a like? All relevant links will be down below.